Welcome back to Good Morning Vail. Joining me in the studio is Lori Barnes from the Vail Public Library. It's a library, but it's so much more. It's a gathering place and yes. so much programming. And your programming really goes to people all ages. And it I does. understand you have something going on this week that's this really week. geared to teens. Absolutely. This is a national initiative called Teen Tech Week. And so it's a week-long initiative to celebrate technology in libraries, especially for teens. And so what we're doing is keeping our tech studio open each afternoon, starting today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So we invite folks to come on down and check out what we got. Well, what is a tech studio? Well, what we have is two 3D printers. We have virtual reality, so we have our Oculus Rift. Oh. We have a green screen. We have robotics like Spiro Balls and Makey Makey and BB-8 and these little things that run around the floor. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So what can kids do like on the, the green screen, for instance? I mean, I know we use it here for weather. Do mm -hmm. they do like their own kind of filming on it? Well, what we've done in the past with our Harry Potter parties is kids would be able to put themselves into a Harry Potter oh, scene fun. by using the green screen. And yeah. what kind of things can you make on your 3D printer? Oh, the, the sky's the limit on that. I mean, when we first opened this several years ago, we had some of our volunteers or some of the um, guys working at the Stedman Clinic come over and volunteer in our tech studio, just, you know, calling up different programs that have to do with, you know, body parts and, and you know, medical science. And, I mean, we make cell phone cases. And there's just so much you can do with a 3D printer. I know. Lots that's really exciting mm -hmm. technology. Yeah. Well, I finished Underground Airlines, Did you? Oh, and uh, so I know you guys have a lot of events around the mm -hmm. One Book, One Valley coming up. Yes, and last week when I came on, I spoke about how we had to change the dates for our film nights. So the first film is going to be shown on Thursday the 15th, and that's going to be at 4.30 in the afternoon. We're doing The Spies of Mississippi, and these are films that are geared towards the themes of the book. And then on the 29th of March, at the same time, 4.30, we're going to be showing Slavery by Another Name. And so these are both PBS documentaries we'll be showing for free at the library. Our book discussions next week, Wednesday the 14th at 5 p.m. We'll be talking about Underground Airlines by Ben Winters. And then Ben will be here in person in one month. So it's going to be the 12th of April. He's going to be at CMC in Edwards at 6 p.m. All of this is free, open to the public. Anybody can come. Now, the guided discussion, or the discussion, mm -hmm. is it going to be guided? I mean, do you have somebody who has some talking points? They're sort of going to lead the, uh, the group through? That's me. Oh, good. That's me. Yeah, it's a book discussion at my library, so okay. I'm going to go ahead and lead the discussion. But it, everybody participates. All right. You know, I bring questions, and, but, you know, book discussions are always lively. So it's just a lot of fun. So it's Women's History Month. Yes, Bring it up here. It is. And yes. you've got a special program for it. Oh my gosh. History coming to life. Yes. So Doc Susie is coming to life tomorrow evening at Vail Public Library. So this is a performer. Her name is Linda Batlin, and she's going to be portraying Doc Susie tomorrow evening, 5.30 p.m. at the library, totally free. But she will be in character the whole time. Maybe at the end she'll come out of character. So Doc Susie was a doctor that worked in Grand County in Fraser at the early part of the 1900s. And, you know, people were a little doubtful about a woman doctor is this, but Doc Susie really had a reputation, established herself as being the go-to person, woman though she was. And so she's gonna tell her story tomorrow. And she was the doctor in Frazier for decades. Yes, it really was a long time that she was there practicing and serving that community. So this will be a delightful story. And just to see it brought to life and told from the point of view of the person coming back to life. So you have some really diverse, innovative programming. Mm -hmm. So I shouldn't be surprised that you also have a rather innovative approach to fundraising. Oh, we do, we do. We have our friends at the library. It's a coffee and three different kinds of teas that are for sale at the library. So the coffee is $10, the teas are $7. It all benefits Friends of Vail Public Library. And it's all through Vail Mountain Coffee and Tea. And the three different kinds of teas are Cold Comfort Herbal, English Breakfast, and Earl Grey. So they're available anytime the library is open. So we invite people to come on down and support the library. We've talked about your meditation classes before on the yes. program. So I wanted to um, highlight the fact that they've moved. They did move. And that was by popular demand from the people wanting to come to meditation. Tuesday evenings just weren't meeting the need. But now Sunday mornings at 10, 15, the class has grown immensely. So Thomas Guthrie is our leader. And he's a delightful gentleman who just does this out of the kindness of his heart. He brings meditation to the library every Sunday at 10.15. Laura, you guys are amazing, and your library is amazing. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you very much. We're proud. That's the Vail Public Library. Stay tuned. Coming up next, we've got your weather forecast.